Hello, and for this tutorial, I'm going to teach how to install the seamless co-op mod combined with the randomizer mod for Elden Ring. So first off, you want to have these three files, the seamless co-op, mod engine, and randomizer. These, I have the link for down in the description, so you can just download them from Nocus Mods, seamless co-op and randomizer, and the mod engine from GitHub. Okay, so first off, you want to install the seamless co-op file. So first off, you just extract the elements from it. Like this, I have just extracted them into a file. You'll have the seamless co-op folder and the earthculture.exe. Then, to install it, you want to access your Steam library. Here you can find the Elden Ring. Then, you'll have to click Manage and Browse Local Files. Once you have that up, you can just close Steam, then you can access your game files, and in here you want to drop the files from your Steelers Co-op folder into there, and once you have moved it in there, you can just close this folder and just access the Seamless Co-op folder. So in here you have the ERSC settings. This will be the settings that you'll choose for yourself for the mod. This is gameplay settings, and then you have scaling settings, and then you have password. Password, you can choose yourself, make it one word and easy for your friends to type. For example, you can have F-R-A-T, it's the same, you can just choose yourself, and then you can just click file, and then save. Then you can close the notepad. And then you can just close the seamless co-op folder. Now that you've done that, you can go over to the randomizer. So for the randomizer, you just extract it. I have just done it before. Then you'll have your unring randomizer.exe and you'll have all the other things that is important. Then you'll also have to extract your mod engine. You can just plop your randomizer into the mod engine folder and then in the mod engine you'll have some extra files like armored core 6 dark souls 3 and you don't need those so you can just delete it the same goes for the bat files you don't need them those are essentially the launchers so now you'll just have the Elden ring bats and the Elden ring tumble file so then you can just access your randomizer then you can start your Elden Ring randomizer.exe and once you've started it you can see that you have all these different options these you can choose yourself for settings and the bias essentially how likely it is for each item to appear at different places here you go if you want it to be just completely random and over here you have it be more loot that is better at the end. You can click enemy randomizer and the DLC and then once you've done the settings you want you can just click merge other mod. Then you can select mod directory to merge and then you'll have to access your steam app files. So for example I have them in program files in the Steam, Steam Apps, Common. Then you'll have to access the Elden Ring, Game Files, the same. And then you'll just have to select the folder you used before, the Seamless Co-op, click Select Folder. Once you've done that, you'll see that it has named the Seamless Co-op folder here. And then you'll add the DLL mod. Then you just click Add, and then it will just open the seamless co-op that you chose then you find the ersk dll then you just click that and click open now you have added the dll then you can just click ok and then you can randomize items and enemies then you say loading game data then you'll have to wait Once it's finished, you can launch 
with the launch ring button here. You'll be greeted with the seamless co-op mode for Ring. Then you just click OK and then you can just create a new file new character file. It will be totally random dude for the starter, but that is up to the settings you choose. Once you've started, you can just go into the game and you'll have all the mods installed. As you can see, the enemy is random. You can just die to him. It's probably a too strong enemy to be beaten early. Now that you have died, you can just skip. Now you have entered the game. In here, you'll just go to the first open door here. You can just go to the first grace point. And once you sit down, you'll be given the multiplayer items. And that is essentially how you access and install the seamless co-op mod combined with the randomizer. Now, if you want to play this with a friend, you have to have the same overall seed. So you can just copy that and give that to a friend, and then you can have them run with the seed that you have set. And also, to make a launcher for this, you can just take the Ring bats, Right click it, and then you can click show more options, create a shortcut, and the shortcut you can essentially have on your desktop, just for easier access on your desktop, and then for the tunnel, you have to edit that in notepad just once, and then down here in the mods, you want to have the name, you can have whatever you want, make it randomizer if you want then the path has to be the exactly same as the folder. So for example, here you have it named randomizer. So therefore, I wrote randomizer for the path. This is really important or it's not gonna work when you try it, essentially the mod engine way. Once you have done that, you're essentially finished and you have the mods downloaded and done. Now if you want just seamless co-op access as well, you can just create the erskelauncher.exe shortcut that you can have on your desktop. Just right click it, show more options, show more options, create shortcuts, and you can just place it there, rename it to multiplayer for example, Ring, and then you have that as well. So that's essentially it guys, thanks you for watching, 